what's going on it's your girl roxy here and i want to welcome you to today's video so today i have a treat for you i want to introduce you to one of my amazing clients whom you have met before and her name is stephanie and the last time that stephanie was here with us she shared about her 30 pound weight loss and now we are 53 pounds down, just totally amazing. And she is such a beautiful inspiration, a beautiful spirit to show how much our work has helped her to not only evolve physically, but mentally and emotionally and so much more as well. And we have a goal of actually dropping 100 pounds. So we are literally like at that halfway mark. So you've got to meet her because so many of you can relate to her story. So I'm not going to even hold you guys up. First of all, subscribe right now if you are not a subscriber to my channel. Click that bell notification so that way when I do put out new videos that you don't miss a thing. Make sure that you like this as well and stay to the very end because I have something that I want to share with you and uh, help you to go ahead and uh, uplift your journey towards a better you. So let's just jump right in and let's meet Stephanie. All right guys, so let us go ahead and welcome Stephanie. So Stephanie, um, this is your second time being uh, on our channel here and meeting our audience. And the first time that we met you, you were down 30 pounds and now you're down a total of 53 pounds. And that's a really, really great triumph. So tell us what's been new with you since the last time um, you had spoken to our audience. Uh, I think as far as like, like what's been new, um, let me see. I don't want to say that like now I'm taking more risks with my training, but it's more so that I'm like, I'm more open. I'm more, um, I'm, I feel like my body's able to take on more. So it's, it's like, I'm way, I'm eager to do things that are more like intensive and kind of, you know, things that I'll be afraid to do when I was a little bit, you know, new to this. Now it's like, I feel like a veteran in the gym, like, like fitness is my thing now. So it's like, I want to try everything. I'm a bit eager now, a bit too eager maybe. Um, but, <laughs> but um, it's been helping me, you know, be able to create fitness goals. So instead of going into it, thinking about stuff like lifting and things like that, I'll just probably like blindly pick up a weight and just see how, how many reps I can do with that. Mm -hmm. And what I've noticed is, of course, my strength has increased, you know, my endurance as far as like lifting and cardio has increased tremendously. Um, I'm getting better at form and I, I'm, I'm a bit of a form snob now I I've become that person that if I feel like that rep did not look right I will do it again like so um I'm, I'm just in a way I've become a little bit obsessed with my fitness but I think it's a good thing it's like a good obsession it's 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 because I'm trying to I'm learning I'm not just going off the wayside and ignoring like um the, the notes from my trainer and things like that. I'm, I'm kind of keeping in that, that range while Absolutely. kind of, you know, having, you know, my own motivation, I guess, you know, yeah, yeah, go, yeah. go about you and me at the same time. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> so let me ask you this question. So I think that like so many women um, struggle with getting started and you know let alone losing 10 pounds and now where you're 53 pounds down and i know that that could not have been an easy task for you why don't you go ahead and, and give us a little bit of a brief like history about yourself for those who are like meeting you for the for the first time because um you know i'm always getting new subscribers on and sometimes they stumble across videos like how did you embark on your fitness journey and what has that been like like you know losing the first 10 and then the 20 and then the 50. give us a little bit of how that you know has happened for you and how how you felt along the way yeah um basically like we talked about it before um i've always struggled with my weight and there was a time where I knew there was a problem and then I was like well you know well maybe I'm just meant to be this way so I've ignored it and when you you know when you ignore a problem it gets out of control and so when it finally got to that point where I was like uh maybe maybe this 
isn't how it's supposed to be. So I tried the whole dieting thing, you know. I even tried with my parents. It's like, okay, we're going to do this. We're going to buy this. We're going to eat this. And we'll be doing good for the first 24 hours. But, you know, it doesn't really last long. And that's why it's like dieting, dieting definitely didn't work for me. So I was just like, I'll hold off. And I'm like, okay, go back to the drawing board. But while I'm trying to formulate a new plan, I'm falling back into those old habits. And I, I would be thinking, well, it's okay. You know, I haven't started back yet. So it's okay. This is my last good meal. This is that last good treat before I start, you know, on Monday. And it became a cycle. It's just like you start, you stop because you failed or you think you failed. You stop and then you go back. So I've been doing that for years since I was like, probably in middle school, in middle school. So I always struggle with my weight. And then it came to a point where, I was like, you know what, I'm going to really, really do it. And so I was doing it, but I was doing it so wrong. Um, instead of, um, I know we call them free meals, the rock stars, but instead of having like a cheat meal, I would have a cheat day and then it would be a cheat weekend. And I would be like, I just lost three pounds and I gained them back. And like, so I was doing it all wrong. And so I was telling my, my, um, then my fiance, but now husband, I was like, okay, I think I should hire somebody to tell me what to do and when to do it. And if that doesn't help, then maybe I'm just meant to be, <laughs> maybe I'm just meant to be unhealthy and just, you know, maybe I'm just meant to be the big girl. So he was like, okay, cool. And so what I did was I went on YouTube and I just looked up black female bodybuilders <laughs> and the first person I came across was you, and I just binge watched binge -watch all those videos. And, of course, in all those videos you had, you know, if you, you know, basically, like, if you want to get to it and stop talking about getting to it, then call me. So, <laughs> so I filled out the application and everything, and we talked about it, and I just knew. I just knew the first time we talked. I was like, okay, I, I got to get her to help me. I got to get her to help me. Like, it's her. It got to be her. It has to be her. So we, I talked it out with my husband, and we agreed. Okay, let's do it. Let's take the first steps. And we did it. And I don't know who came. I don't know who said this quote, but they're like, to begin, begin. So it, 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 it sounds so simple, but it is like so hard. So, but that's what I did. To begin, I began. So... I did the call. We set everything up. I got my first meal plan, my first uh, my first week of training, what I'm supposed to do, and I went balls to the wall. And I was just like, "This better work. This better work. This this better work." And lo and behold, it worked. And I was like, "Ah, yay!" <laughs> and then my, my husband was like, "Okay, yeah, it, it worked. But you know, you got to keep going because you have a history." Of you know not finishing things that you begin, so I was like, no, 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 I'm gonna keep on, I'm gonna keep on. And so uh, the next week happened, and we did it again. And I was like, oh yeah, 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 and we just kept going. So basically, every day I just looked at it as don't look when you begin something new, especially weight loss. Just don't look at the whole scratch of I'm right here and I got to get all the way to here. Um, the best way to look at it is it's day one, and all you got to do is make it through day one. That That's the goal. That is your goal. To begin, begin. Day one, end of day one. I just do. Day two. Here's here's a new here's a new goal. Here's a new a new feat, a new monster to tackle. You did day two. Just, it's not, don't look at it as that whole year stretch or six month stretch because you are going to get, you know, fatigued just by thinking about it. Um, so I just took it one step at a time, one workout at a time. I, and here I am, 53 yeah. pounds down. So yeah. just little by little, don't look at it like a, cause I think that's what messed me up too. I was like, this is how much I have to lose. And I'm trying to lose it in this amount of time. And it was, it, that wasn't the case because I didn't put it on in that amount of time. So just take it day by day, 24 hours. That's all you got. Just do that and do that every day. And see what happens. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, I mean, one of the things that we talk about a lot is how progress is never a linear thing. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And although we've gotten to this 53 pounds, we still have what another 47 to go because we want to get 100 pounds down together and Mm -hmm. you're well on your way. But I think that, you know, a lot of times what the industry highlights is the triumph of it all. But there were times where we had to take steps back and where things stalled for you as well. And there was a time where, you know, I looked and I was like, hey, we have to eat at maintenance for a couple of weeks and, you know, get really comfortable without seeing that scale move. But know that when we get back onto fat loss, that it's going to start happening again. How were you able to mentally get yourself through those points when things were not moving the way that you wanted it to? What kept you going and kept you from saying, I give up? Um, for me, it was, I definitely had to look at what I've accomplished so far. Um, Cause yeah, I, I do remember that we had this whole set of weight loss, weight loss, weight loss. And you were like, okay, I'm switching something up. We're going to eat at the maintenance. And yet the scale may not move. And for a second, I was like, because I remember those days and I'm like, oh, okay, well, I mean, it, it, when when I heard the because when I heard the scale may not move, I instantly was like, oh, what gain? I'm going to gain weight. Oh, my God, I'm going to gain weight. And that wasn't the case um, because I totally just forgot about all those other factors, all those other new things that I implemented into my life. Um, one being training. You still have to train like, like, like a mother. You still have to train. So, and it's also how I was eating. I'm not sure. Because you didn't tell me eat at a maintenance and go eat everything you see in the grocery store. But you, you, I had a meal plan. Eat at a maintenance. Just eat those, you know, lean meats. Eat those veggies. Have a bite of fruit or two. Don't go overboard. And that's basically, like, what I was doing. And it it worked. I was seeing how I was, like, I was, I was maintaining. And I'm like, oh, okay, so this is. And then I was like, wait, this is where we're going to this is the point that we're going to reach later when I do meet my goal there's nothing left to lose so then what what are you going to do like um so it's like oh so I'm learning early on this is how you maintain this is how you keep it g (laughs) this is this is how you stay where you want to be I was like oh okay so I got a little bit more comfortable you know just going about my day I was like okay I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna work out if I wanted to do, and also like thought up, like maybe I could do something new with my training. That's when I uh, think I talked to you about, you know, dancing or maybe going cycling, like spin class, or maybe trying yoga or something. And when I was like, I want to try different things, I was able to do that. Um, and I don't know, it's like I've already, it was already ingrained in my head, like this is the lifestyle you want to live. So whatever the goal is, whether we're losing or maintaining, the form, the formula is not changing. You still have to eat uh, nutritionally dense foods, and you still have to work out. You still have to train. Um, and I did compare and contrast, like, how, we, how when we work together, how it is, and how it was when I was on my own. That was, that was, everything is different because... Like I said, I was doing it all wrong. I was thinking, you know, you could probably, oh, like, yeah, you can, you can have that pork chop that's <laughs> filled with like, fats and <laughs> delicious fats, but just filled with fats and then, like, having, like, two heaping spoons of mashed potatoes. And it's like, oh, but I have these cream beans on the side. So but it's, 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 not, it's, not as, it's not that simple. But it's not that hard either when it comes to your nutrition. It, like, and like I said, that was why I was like, I have to have somebody tell me what to do because there's a way to do this. I'm just doing it wrong. And the thing with um, that is I do, I do feel privileged because there are people who are – Google is amazing, but there's so much out there, so much contradicting information. Like, you could be doing trial and error forever if Google is your main source of information. It's, it, I knew I had to get a, a pro, someone who's been there and done that and knows what they're talking about. Yeah, um, absolutely. And you know what I'll say? Like, um, one of the things about the way that you and I are working together 
you know, for your specific program is that you, you are in the driver's seat when it comes to your diet. Like we started off with a meal plan and then, you know, we, now you, you're doing macros and you're, and you are actually tracking your foods and you're actually meeting your macros on a weekly basis. So you have that ability. You learned how to do it first mm-hmm. and now you have the ability to make healthy choices and in making those choices, you see firsthand, like you said, what it is to maintain and what it is to be normal. And that's a huge um, gift to have. It's a huge accomplishment, you know, as a client. I always feel that it's not my job to just tell you what to do, but it's to show you. Because if I can teach you how to fish, I can feed you for a lifetime. You know what I mean? And that's what it's all about. And you've really embraced that and really run with that. And that's a beautiful thing. One of the things I do want to ask you about, because if uh, if folks go back and watch our, our last video and compare like where you are now to how you are today, like, you know, I always love that. Like, you know, you know, you know, Roxy, like today you have guys have everybody, please do not pay attention to my fingertips because they are not manicured. I'm going to get my manicure today. It's Sunday. Right. I'm like, I'm like, I feel so naked. I don't have on nail polish, but I do have on red lips. But I feel like, you know, I've embraced so much of like, you know, my feminine energy and teaching you ladies about that and how important that is in our, how we feel, how we present ourselves. Um, and, uh, and, and we talk about this stuff a lot and taking care of your outward appearance as well, how you put yourself together. And, you know, the woman that's sitting in front of us today is a different woman than what we saw a couple of months ago when we had you are, when you were at 30 pounds off uh, video. What can you say about this journey um, having an Im- impact on that? You know, how you present to the world, how you dress, how you do your hair, how you do your makeup and stuff like that. Like, has that changed for you? Do you pay more attention to it? Like, what what is that part of been for you? Like, um, it's still a, it could be still a bit of a struggle given, you know, what I do for, you know, a living. Um, but what I do for a living actually kind of helps with the inner you know, portion of, you know, feminine energy, because I'm a preschool teacher, so there's a lot of nurturing going on uh, 24-7, five days a week, um, so, I, I mean, it, it helps with, like, my my inner being is being shown outwardly. I have people at work who think I'm a morning person, and I'm like, no, no, I'm not, I'm not, and they're just like, they're like, what? I'm like, no, plot twist, I'm not a morning person. I think I came in one day, and I was just, I was just as sick as a dog, and they were like, what's wrong? Oh, no, what's wrong? You're just not yourself today. You're not, you're usually chipper, and I'm like, am I? Am I? I, I didn't notice, and they're like, yeah, I have, um, the, the, the chef, the, the chef who works at, um, our center, she she always just tells me she's like oh you're such a beautiful person and here I am I have no makeup hair is like in a bun and I'm like I am I am and she's like yeah you she's like your spirit it's so it's so beautiful and I was like so it for me the outward appearance is coming along because I can do that on weekends when I have a lot more time because you know for me my morning is gym head straight to work so. I don't really have time for my makeup as much as I want to. I don't really have time um, to do, you know, like pretty styles with my hair. Most of the time it's just a bun or or maybe, you know, I can put on, you know, a nice little hair hat. And um, but for the most part, it's just my my attitude um, has has changed around, you know, uh, the workplace uh, and at home. We're getting there because, you know, the day has taken its toll on me. So now I'm like, uh, uh, but now I have this person in my life who kind of keeps me sane and is like, relax, just breathe, relax. So I don't have to remind myself to do it. I have someone like in my ear kind of like forcing me to do it. And it helps. Um, like most, like recently he just started lighting candles at the end of the night and we'll just sit, we'll have dinner. Uh, watch TV. It, it it mellows me out. Like he really helps a lot with that. So uh, so the masculine energy that is behind me. I don't know if you guys can see, but that's really helping me hone my feminine energy and let me, you know, kind of. And sometimes he'll remind me. He'll be like, "That's a little bit um, you know," and I'll be like, oh, 
because he knows it's one of my goals to be more feminine. So he'll be like, that's really masculine. And I'll be like, <gasps> and he'll be like, it's okay, it's okay. We'll go back to the drawing board. But I mean, he helps me out a lot with that. Uh, so at, like in public, because I'm so, people really be like, oh, she's a girl, girl. She's so sweet. She's so, I get all these like feminine qualities said about me. And at home I have this, you know, this very stern, firm type of masculine energy coming from my husband that allows me to be feminine here and there. So that really helps a lot. Um, okay. As far as how fitness has helped with it, I mean, it just it just makes me happier. So, you know, I get moving in the morning. I'm lifting weights. I'm running, you know, elliptical, stationary yeah. bike. Like, all that helps. It just helps so It gives you, like, more, yeah. more balance in your life, and you've been able to tap right. that to a greater degree. And I think that's so important. Like, um, and we do we, we we do a lot of work on that, and we're going to be doing a lot more um, this uh, this coming month uh, when I release our master classes. We're going to get into deeper conversations about advanced levels of tapping into your feminine energy and all that other great stuff. And um, I mean, you've used a lot of our meditations because we use meditation as part of our practice and 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 journal journaling and stuff like that. Uh, how do you feel like that has helped you to shift your mindset and tap deeper into your feminine energy and how that how has that impacted your fitness as well? Um, I usually listen to them. So basically just to give you an idea, like when I listen to them, I either listen to them during cardio, mm -hmm. after my whole workout, or on the way to work. So what it does it uh, what it does for me during cardio is it just helps me reflect on the morning that I had in the day that I want to create for myself um, on the way to work. Um, it, it almost like kind of like mellows me out from what I just did. Like the strenuous work that I just did from my workout, it mellows me out. Um, it gets the kinks out. I'm no longer, I'm not, up, not as uptight, although working out helps with that anyway, but then just kind of like the cherry on top, like, okay, your workout is now officially complete because you listened to your meditation after wearing out or something like that. Um, it's just, it makes me feel, I don't know, because it's a part of the program. So when I do it along with my workouts, anywhere between along with my workouts, just makes me feel accomplished. Like I am done. I am complete. Yes. And I feel like I can move on to the next step now without being like, <laughs> I need to do, I need to, I think I forgot something. I think I, so it helps me just like focus. Yeah. It's, yeah. Um, really great. That's really it's good. not weird, but it's a uh, because I use weird a lot. I don't know why, but uh, it's not a weird feeling. It's more of like a feeling that I never felt before, where I feel like, like I said, it makes me feel accomplished. The day's not even over yet, but I just felt like I just like you're owning, like you're owning. Yeah, I seize the day, like just by I don't, I don't. It makes me feel that way. Good. So I, let me I, ask you this question then. Um, so <laughs> going forward for you, because we're not done yet. Like, what do you feel like, what do you feel like is it? Well, first of all, you know what, let me go back because we, we actually have completed an amazing challenge for you. And uh, you came to me saying that you wanted to be able to run three miles, right? And I was like, or, or you said like, I want to be able to do like, yeah, I think it was three miles. And I was like, all right, well, let's go ahead and train for like a 5k, you know, and like, actually incorporate that into your cardio. You haven't really, you know, necessarily trained, weren't trained for a race, but we were using that template and that formula to help you to get to three miles. Mm -hmm. So uh, in your last update, you were telling me you've, you've shortened your, your mile pace to 15 minute mile, which is great. Mm -hmm. And now you are currently running that three miles and it takes you about a good 45 minutes uh, pacing to, to complete that distance. How did that feel for you? Like to be able to say, wow, like I set this goal and boom, now I, now I got it going. And what are your plans with that? Do you want to do a race or something? <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I do low key, high key want to do a race. I, I do. When I do not know, but it's definitely on uh, something I want to do before the year is out, is to do um, a 5K race. All right. Well, I'm putting that down now. Now now it's on. Now we're going to look for a real race. <laughs> yeah. But, like, doing it, because um, I remember what – I actually think that I've accomplished um, two 
two challenges that uh, and one of them I don't really think you know about. Um, you tell. So, yeah, uh, I remember. I think I would always when you when you always have in my training to probably be on the treadmill. I think it was in the beginning. And I was like, me and treadmills don't get along. I'm not into just walking, running on something, and I ain't going nowhere. So <laughs> so I was like, I'm helping this elliptical school. Stationary bikes I can do because I love spinning. So I can do stationary bikes. Um, but I would do ellipticals. Uh, I would even try the Stairmaster again sometimes, even though it whoops my butt every time. But <laughs> I love it because it, it, it challenges me. But treadmills I would never really get on and it wasn't until that that challenge you know what I want to run a 5k I want to run you know three miles nonstop. and for a while I wasn't getting on the treadmills I was just making a route around my neighborhood with my husband and then it got to the point where I was like you know what I'm tired of coming home I'm already tired then I gotta run I'm gonna just I'm gonna just run at the gym <laughs> so, so I would hop on the treadmill and the first the first mile I remember the first mile I was like I hate this thing I hate it I hate it I hate it but I kept going and then I'd be like oh maybe I could like go a little further so sometimes I would like maybe go maybe an extra quarter mile further or I would jack up the speed and before you know it the treadmill has become my jam like i would i like i would rather run on that than run you know in my neighborhood and that was i would tell everyone i was like no i have to go somewhere if i'm running if i'm walking i gotta be able to go somewhere i gotta see scenery but no because what the treadmill has done for me it's like okay it's just you and the treadmill there's 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 nothing else. There's nothing else to um, appease you or make you feel good. No scenery for you. Um, nothing to take your mind off the fact that you are actually putting your body through something that it probably does not even want to do. So it's just doing the treadmill, and it feels so good. It feels it feels so good. It's, it is my preferred way of not only like running, but my preferred way of cardio. Like I'd rather be on the treadmill running or, or jogging or something doing a few sprints or something and that was something that was was that was not the case when we first started i was like i can do cardio but i would not do the treadmill i, I would just not <laughs> i would not do treadmill now it's like treadmill yes give me a which treadmill. means now what we have to do is transition that from being getting off the treadmill and getting outside in the park. outside again yes because now i've become accustomed to that treadmill right and, and what happens with the treadmill is that the belt is constantly moving so it's sort of giving you a little bit it's sort of like um challenging you in a way that being on the ground does not you know, and being on the ground is really making you forcing your body to 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 work even yeah. harder. So that's the next challenge for you. So the next time we do this video, when you're another twenty five or so pounds down, we're going to be talking about how not only you were taking this running outdoors, but you you're going to have your race completed by then too. Watch, mark my words on that one. We're going to do that for you. I'm ready. I'm excited. <laughs> We need to do one before the year is out, definitely. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So let's talk about this final thing. So going forward, you know, you have the next um, 47 pounds to go. So, like, what do you feel is going what, – what, how are you going to do things differently for the next phase of our 100-pound weight, weight loss? Like, what new challenges do you want to see for yourself – and, you know, what are some ways you feel like you're going to keep yourself grounded in this process? Um, as far as I, how would I keep myself continue, continue the good fight? I think the formula we have, like, established has, it's gotten me this far. It can take me further. But what do, what new challenges do I want to present for myself? It's definitely, um, I do want to go ahead and get back into my old hobbies again. because they they were I'm, I'm not gonna say they because they did keep me sane but what it did for me was it kind of put it i was able to put fitness in because we are since our time put fitness in a different element that doesn't look like fitness um 
because now that, you know, my schedule's wonky again, you know, new life, you know, I'm a wife now, so I have new responsibilities, and now I just don't want to, because now I'm just working out. Now I'm just working out, but I don't want to just work out anymore. Um, I want to be able to, you know, you know, rollerblade, not rollerblade, but quad skate, because roller derby, roller derby, um, pole dancing, uh, there was like this class that I was taking called flexology, where you basically, it was like, it wasn't yoga. It's, I call it erotic yoga because <laughs> it's um, it's it's pole dancing, but um, you're not using the pole as much. You're just like doing the movements like on the floor. It's kind of like floor work, but it's that. It's fitness, but it's disguising itself as something else, and that is what I miss. So I want to get back into that again. Me and my husband were talking about how maybe jumping head first into derby is not the best option given my schedule. But we did talk about, hey, there's a skating rink around here just to keep you in the groove, to keep that muscle memory. We could just go to the rink um, maybe once every week and just skate together and stuff like that. Is it like a roller rink with, like, music and stuff? Yes. yes. Oh, girl, that's so much fun. Oh, my God. We have one um, over here in L.A. called uh, World of Wheels. And it's, like, really, like, world famous. And uh, I was going there for a while, and, and man, roller skating is fun. You got to get it into it. It's so fun. <laughs> so there's, another, there's another one, like, further out, though, called Funplex, where they have everything. And they have this huge roller rink as well uh, with the music playing and everything like that. So we, we talked about that. And he, he was just like, I think it's good. I think it's good. You want to get back to all those things. So... For me, and that really helped with my feminine energy as well, like, because it was something, you know, for me, something that I can enjoy and something that I felt pretty doing. So I want to get back into, like, my old hobbies and things like that um, on my way to, you know, my, my goal weight. Mm-hmm. Um, and what else? Uh, I just feel like right about now, there's... There's not much. I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, we're we're we, we make a good team and we're doing pretty well. I've learned so much. Um, I'm like I said, I like married someone who is just as on my behind as you are. So there is no failing. I kind of have no choice but to succeed now. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Well. I am rooting for you all the way, and I have no doubts in my mind that we are going to get there and get there so amazingly. You're such an inspiration to our audience and to women, you know, just like you out there who are trying to figure this game out. So let's go ahead and close off with one last thing, you know, for you to address that woman out there right now who is just like you, who's probably on Google probably got my ebook or something like that. And now she's binge watching all these videos and she's making a decision whether or not this is going to be worth her time and her money and her efforts. What would you say to her? I would say, well, what I said before, like I said, I don't know who said it, but to begin, begin. Call her. You don't, even if you don't go ahead and, you know, push through and go to the next step. You owe it to yourself to at least hear out all the options that are available to you. And to be honest, this one is the best one. But even if you don't go through with it, see what you see what you can get or see what you're deciding to miss out on. Just get that bug in your ear. At least it's there. Maybe you'll come back later. Maybe you're not ready now. Maybe you're not ready to take the plunge, but hear her out because That's what I did. To begin, I began. And here I am, beginning every day and finishing every day. And I wish the same for you. Amazing. That's so beautiful. Well, I have to thank you so much for your time, Stephanie. And, you know, this is not the last time we're going to see you on here. So we're going to go ahead, rock and roll, and do our thing, girl. I appreciate you so much for joining. Awesome, awesome. If you like what I have to share here and you're actually interested in working with me, why don't you come on by my website? www.roxerfitness.com slash work with Roxy. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and comment below. And I cannot wait to touch base with you again soon. Have a good one. Bye-bye.